Now we're going to walk through building a simple breadboard circuit in Tinkercad circuits. I'll start a new circuit and that will show you what I mean. If I look down, I see a component called breadboard small, which closely resembles an actual part that we will use quite a bit in the class. Tinkercad allows you to build circuits in a really freeform way, but in physical life, in the actual lab, it's much easier to build circuits built on top of a breadboard, which connects the components together, than it is to try to freeform them. So let's try to build that habit now and learn how the breadboard works and start building our Tinkercad circuits also on breadboards. So I'll bring out this time a coin cell battery, a push button switch, a LED, and a resistor, and we'll see how this works. This particular breadboard closely resembles the physical ones we have. And you see there's an inner matrix uh, in which there are rows of five pins and internally the five pins are connected together. So each row of five, each of those five pins has an internal connection. At the top and bottom of the board are two long rows of pins. You can see here in the highlighting that the, each long row of pins is all internally connected together and can be used in lieu of a wire. I'll note one feature, or misfeature really. These breadboards, like the ones we often use, have a small plus and minus symbol marked on the rows. I'd advise you to ignore those. There's no reason that any given row needs to be positive or negative. And in fact, I believe that this arrangement tends to lead to mistakes because it's very easy to plug a wire into minus when you intend positive if they're side by side. So the first thing we'll do is wire the positive terminal of the coin cell to one of these long rows at the top. And I'll, my habit that I suggest you use is always use the, the top rows for positive and the bottom rows for negative. So I'll, I'll then wire the negative to the bottom row here. I happen to be using the plus and minus marked rows, but that doesn't matter. Now the positive voltage is present along each of these pin positions within this long row. If I go ahead and take my uh, resistor here and I move it, if I take my resistor and I drag it onto the breadboard, it can make several connections automatically. One pin is resting in the row that has the positive voltage, the other pin in this row of five. If I then take my, my LED and I position it so that the anode is in the same row of five as the resistor, they will be connected together. I can then go ahead and wire uh, from any of the other four pins in that row with the cathode down to the minus, and I should have a circuit that will light the LED. I'll, I'll click on start simulation to test it, and we see the LED come on. Now let's break this down and add a switch instead of this wire so we have something we can control. I'm going to click this wire and press delete and it goes away and move this switch onto the breadboard. This particular switch has four pins but really only two electrical connections. They're marked 1B and 1A, 2B and 2A. So pins 1 and 1B happen to be the same electrical circuit, 2A and 2B happen to be the other. Now I'll take a wire from the cathode of the LED and wire it into the same row as one, the one side of the switch. The other side of the switch, I'll add a wire that goes now down to my minus row in the bottom. When I run the simulation now, I have a switch in the circuit. If I press the switch, the LED lights. If I release the switch, the LED turns off. So this is a straightforward circuit where the current flows through the resistor, through the LED, then it will flow through the switch when it's pressed, but not when it's, when it's not pressed and then the return path to ground to the negative terminal of the battery goes to the bottom row. So in brief, we've discussed the breadboard, the basic properties of the breadboard matrix in its internal connections, and then demonstrated a, a way that you might physically set up an actual circuit in the lab or at home using these components.